Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to be replacing my standard sights on my Ruger 1022 with a set of Williams peep sights. This is the fire sight set. It comes with a fiber optic front sight and a fully adjustable peep sight for the rear. Uh, this set is made for this rifle so it looks to be a very simple install. I just uh, thought I'd do this video with if nothing else give you guys a before and after look of the rifle. So uh, the rear sight just bolts right into the rear scope mount screws. So I've already removed those and uh, the set comes with, with the screws needed. So I'll put a little Loctite on these babies. Now you want to be sure and not overdo it. Just put it a little bit on the top of the screw because these holes are drilled all the way through into the bolt. So if you put too much, there's a possibility that you could get some inside there and, and maybe uh, lock up the bolt or, or cause malfunctions. So just put a little bit on them. Another thing that's real important is get the exact screwdriver head that fits the bolts, the width and, and thickness. That way you don't mar them up. won't look like you've uh, had them on and off a million times. Well. Make sure they're pretty snug, but be sure and not overdo it. The last thing you want to do is strip those out. So that's got that one on. Now I really like the peep sights. Uh, one thing they do is give you a lot longer sight radius. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see here, you've got seven or eight inches more sight radius than you had with a leaf style sight. And also with the peep sight, for me. Um, I tend to focus less on the rear sight, more on the front sight than I do with the with the standard leaf sight. And probably the, the most important thing or the biggest reason I like them is because uh, with the leaf style sight, the lower half of your target is pretty much blocked by your rear sight. And with the uh, peep sight, that's not the case. With the peep sight, pretty much the only thing that's, that's in between you and the target is your front sight post. <coughs> so it gives you a... Uh, a better sight picture and and for me allows me to shoot uh, tighter groups and, and just better all the way around. So we got that on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay this on the table. For me a lot of times the easiest way to deal with these front sights, especially on a rifle, is just take my handy little bench block, roll a duct tape for a dollar or electrical tape, excuse me. Take my brass punch. I hope I'm not blocking this. Alright, knock that one right out. Now on this, uh, on this side, the, the the way you know uh, the rounded edge goes toward the front, I'm pretty sure. And then the flat edge will be facing toward the rear of the rifle. So we will put it on just like this. And I always like to use a little oil. It kind of helps it go on a little smoother. Because these can be a little stiff. Which they're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be loose. Again, using the brass punch so you don't... Uh, mar up the sights. And I know my hand's blocking, but bow style's making it a little slippery to hold on to. Just want to center that right up. Looks like when it's perfectly centered, it'll be flush with both sides. Okay, that looks to be centered quite well. You can see I've got a little bit of brass off the punch there. 
The easiest way to remove that that I found is just take some ballast oil, which I'm about out, and then a uh, little brush. And that'll take it right off there. All right. Got the front, got the rear. Now I'm going to remove this leaf sight here on the center. And I'm not sure what will be the easiest way to do that, but we're going to see what we can do here. Now that's hitting the bolt, so I want to put that under there so the bolt's not against the table. There you have it. Now on this rear sight, I think I failed to mention this. It's got this little screw in aperture. Let me turn it around. It has a real small hole with some dirt in it. Or you can remove that the little aperture screws out. It gives you more of a, a ghost ring style sight then. A larger hole. Alright, that's got it on there. Looks pretty good. Not not real crazy about the notch left in the barrel, but I guess it'll do. Uh, now, let me uh, take the camera outside and we'll uh, see how many shots it takes to uh, get this baby lined up. Be right back at y'all. Okay, this is going to be the first shots with the Williams peep sights on the Ruger 1022. Uh, you can see I've got my target really close. It's maybe 10 feet. Uh, I have some circles, two circles drew on it about the size of a dime. And I always like to start out really close with a really small target. And uh, um, with my past experience, uh, for me, if, if I can get it shooting bullet hole to bullet hole at this distance, I, I generally don't have fake very much adjustments at all on out to 100 yards or so and uh, maybe some some slight ones but uh, most of the time it's usually pretty close uh, also today gonna be shooting the BX 25 Ruger magazine for the first time also but we're gonna start out with the uh, flush fit 10 round magazine okay go for the circle on the bottom Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Safety on, it was about an inch low. So, uh, when adjusting your rear sight, you want to move your sight to where you want your bullet to go. So in this case, I need my bullet to come up, so I'm going to move my sight up. Tighten it back down. Also, I'm going to put on my hearing protection this time. Try it again. Okay, that time it was about a half an inch low, so we're going to raise it up just a little bit more. This time we'll go for the top one. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that was dead center that time. Now that we've got it where we think we want it, let's tighten it up really good. The windage seemed to be perfect right out of the box. Okay, now, uh, let's go out to that 12 inch round plate on the left out there at about 45 to 50 yards. Let's go for center mass on it. Looks to be uh, shooting right on. Let's go on out to the gong. Now the new Ruger BX25.
<laughs> so as you can see, if you get it lined up really close, uh, more than likely it'll be pretty well where it needs to be when you get on out at longer distances. That's the Williams Peep Sight. Uh, this one cost me tax and all 50 bucks. Uh, they make them for pretty much uh, almost every rifle out there. So uh, if you're looking for this kind of sight, check out the Williams Peep Sights. Uh, first impressions, they look to be uh, pretty well made, uh, fairly low profile, and uh, seem like they're going to work out pretty good. Thank you folks for watching this video, and I uh, hope you all have a good weekend. We'll see you all.